In this video, I am going to show you how to create these insane motivation edits that you see on social media in DaVinci Resolve. So you can start posting your own reels and print unlimited money like these channels. This is not a hey, see my skills tutorial. Instead, I am going to make you understand the entire process and workflow from start to finish. Let's jump in. So there are five parts to creating these edits. Part one: find the figure. All these edits are based around some popular figure, some popular personality. Obviously, I'm not saying to make edits on some weird OnlyFans model, but find someone who's popular plus an inspirational figure. For example, Cristiano Ronaldo, David Goggins, Alex Hormozzi, Michael Jordan, and more. I am going to choose David Goggins for this video. Part two: find the music. Now it's time to find the right music that will make you go viral because this is one of the most crucial components. There are two ways to do this. First, by finding trending music through Instagram's trending. Audios and second by searching edits of your favorite figure on YouTube to see what music is being used in the latest viral shorts. Part three: find A roll plus B roll. For the A roll, you can use clips from viral podcasts featuring your chosen figure. If they post directly on their own social media and those posts get good reach and engagement, you can also extract the A roll from there. The same goes for B roll. Simply find suitable clips on social media and download them. I will include some free tools in the description to help you download videos from social media platforms. Part four: The edit. Now it's time to hop into DaVinci Resolve. First, create five folders: A roll, B roll, music, sound effects, and timelines. This is just a good editing practice I always follow. Next, create a new 60 FPS timeline with a vertical resolution. Instead of 1920 by 1080, set it to 1080 by 1920. Import all of your downloaded assets into their respective folders. Now bring the A roll with the audio and B roll into the timeline and start arranging your clips. The key here is to cut out all unnecessary distractions. Long Long pauses and boring parts. Make sure your A roll plus audio is impactful or inspirational. That's the whole point of a motivational reel. It should spark emotion or motivation in the viewer. For the B roll, layer it over your A roll in a way that makes the reel more interesting and engaging. For example, if David Goggins is talking about pushing limits, I will add B roll of him doing extremely difficult workouts. Finally, add your viral music. Lower its volume and raise the A roll's audio so the message comes through clearly. To finish, you can add an Adjustment clip over everything and apply special color grades or effects like vignette or increased contrast to give your reel a polished look. And that's the basic editing structure for motivational reels. Next, I will show you some viral text animations and effects that are used by popular channels to achieve insane virality. Part five: Text animations. These are the three viral text animations that big channels use. Let's create each one step by step. First, drag a text plus node onto your timeline. Then open it in the Fusion page. I always prefer Fusion because it gives way more control compared to the Edit page. Change the title to Viral Text and pick a font you like. Now right click inside the text area and choose character level styling. Go to the modifiers tab, make sure the template node is selected, highlight a part of your text and change its color. I will set mine to blue. Let's add some glow. Press Shift plus Space, search for glow and add it. Time to animate. Add a transform node just before the media out. Go to frame zero, set the size to 0.851 and keyframe it. Move to frame 35, set the size back to 1.0. Now let's animate opacity. Open the shading tab. At frame 35, add a keyframe for opacity. Go back to frame zero and set the opacity to zero. Now let's add motion blur. Enable it for the text and set the quality to 5. Also enable it on the transform node and increase the shutter angle. Finally, polish the animation in the spline panel. Select everything, control A. Right click, ease and out cube it. And that's it. The first viral text animation is done. Once again, drag a text plus node into the timeline and open it in the fusion page. Change the text to this is a viral text effect. Right click inside the text area, character level styling, in the modifiers tab, highlight the words text effect and change their color. I'll go with gold, but you can pick whatever you like. Add a glow node for extra pop. Optional, but you can adjust the line spacing to give it a cleaner, modern look. Don't forget to change the font to match your style. Now let's animate this. At frame zero, go to the right on controls, keyframe it, and drag it all the way to the start. Then in the shading tab, keyframe opacity and set it to zero. 
move the playhead to frame 50. Increase opacity to 1. Go back to the text tab and drag the right on all the way to the end so the text writes in fully. For smoothness, go to settings, enable motion blur and increase the shutter angle. Finally open the spline tab, select everything. Press S to smoothen and you are done. And that's the second viral text animation. This one might look complicated at first, but it's really not. It's just a few extra elements. Start with a text plus node, drop it into the timeline and open it in the fusion page. Change the text to the US and immediately switch to the font you want. So we don't forget this time. Move the text slightly to the left to leave the space for US flag icon. Bring in the flag icon and merge it with the text. In the inspector, make sure to check the loop box so the flag doesn't disappear randomly. Resize and reposition everything until it looks balanced. Next, let's style the text. Right click inside the text area, character level styling. In the modifiers tab, select US and change its color. I will make it blue. Now let's animate everything together. Add a transform node at the very end. At frame 0, shrink the size and add a keyframe. At frame 35, bring the size back to 1. Animate opacity for both the text and the flag. At frame 0, set opacity to 0 and at frame 35, set opacity to 1. Add motion blur to the transform node and increase the shutter angle. Add a glow node to the whole composition. Increase the glow size for a bolder effect. For extra movement, add a camera shake node at the very end. Adjust the settings so the shake is subtle because too much looks messy. Finally, open the spline tab, select everything and smoothen the curves. And that's the third viral text animation. Before wrapping up, here's a quick special effect you can add to any text animation. Go back to the edit page. In the open effects panel, search for fast noise and drag it onto the text plus node. In the inspector, effects tab, change the preset to water surface. And lastly, reduce the contrast to 0.027. This adds a subtle flowing effect to your text. Really cool for extra polish. And that's it for all three viral text animations. If you want to learn how I reached my first thousand dollars as a video editor, check out the ebook I have written for you. It's linked in the description.